Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is part 2 on the solution of digital system and application for semester 6 of Calcutta University 2022. Already we discussed that uh, question number 1 A to G already discussed in the part 1 and in this uh, part we want to discuss this question number 2 and this question number 3 and I'm covering session we will be cover up this question 4, 5, 6 and 7. So let's start. First two A question says that simplify the following Boolean expression in sum of product using Carnot map. So this is given. You can write this A, B and C, D in this form 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. You just remember this order. I think you understand this because you already uh, was the lectures in this series on digital electronics. So CD also written here. You can see this is numbering here 0, 1, 2 and 3 because this is first and this one. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you need to remember this order and just put this uh, once at this position 0, 1, this 2, 5, 8, 9, 10. And now you need to take this once in the one or two ones or four ones or eight one or sixteen ones. So these four ones are taken, and you can see in this four one, this B is constant that is B bar, and this C is constant that is C bar. In case of these two ones, you need to cover up all ones. In case of these two one, you can see this A bar is constant, and this B bar, a C bar, and D is sorry for that case this a bar is constant and this is c bar and d so i written here mistakenly I, I want correct these things you can see for this two this a bar is constant and this c bar and d c bar and d so this is c bar d okay i apologize and for this two you can see this b bar is constant and this is c and d bar so this will be this will be this is right this is a c bar d okay so this will be the answer of this question next question simplify the uh, implement the above uh, simplified expression so the above simplified expression already changed that is a bar c bar d so you need to write down this one as this uh, 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 a bar c bar d so this is written here a bar c bar d so this will be like that a bar c bar d so a bar c bar so you need to take just correct this one i just correct this one uh, you need to take that is a bar c bar d so this b is not taken here a bar c bar d okay a bar this c bar and d so you need to take this c bar not c so you need to take this c i just highlighted here that is c bar a bar a c bar and d so d is connected here from that point to that one okay so i think clear about a bar c bar d so this will be the circle okay Go to the next one. Make the truth table for the following logic function. So this is a function I need to make truth table. So you can see there is a, b, and c, d the four variables. So there is two to the power four. Uh, that is two to the power four means you need to sixteen inputs. So eight zero eight one then four zero four one four zero four one two zero two one two zero two one and so on and zero one zero one zero one so a b that's mean when a and b both are one so this a and b both are one output one this then a 
C bar that is A1 C0 A1 C0 you can see this is A1 C0 A1 C0 A1 C0 A0 C0 this are one then C that is when C is one always one 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 then A B bar C that is A1 B0 A1 B0 and C1 also already one and A B C also are one so uh, and A D that is A1 D1 this also taken in and rest as zero so this is the structure next question says uh, that is the write down the boolean expression of this output so this is xor gate so this is ab is xor and this is a xor of ab and this is b xor of this one so just you simplify this one that is xor is a b bar plus a bar b and a, a xor with a so a and b bar means total bar and this is a bar only. okay so this can be simplified like that and finally you have to zero so you just carry uh, go through this calculation you can definitely uh, write down the answer next question design a 8 is to 1 multiplexer using 2 4 is to 1 multiplexer you know the multiplexer is that that is among these uh, many inputs what is the multiplexer uh, many inputs many inputs and one out which select the selector by selector actually selector select which one is the uh, which input actually output from the output. okay so this is the head is to one multiplexer using four is to one multiplexer like that where you can see d0 d1 d2 d3 i0 i1 i2 i3 and this is d4 d5 d6 d7 i0 i1 i2 i3 we can see that is least significant uh, digit uh, uh, and most significant digit a change into like that that is c uh, when this is uh, zero when c is zero this become one this become one because there is a not this input enable okay so this is input enable then these are working d and when this is one then this one is enable actually you can see there is uh, a b and c c is four zero four one when this is zero then no d0 d1 d2 d3 enable and when d c1 these are enable so finally uh, the eight inputs are selected into a one output eight inputs one out using this four is to one multiplexer clear next is implement the following boolean expression using a is to one multiplexer so the boolean expression is like that a b so this is using cardinal map you can see this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this four position is 1 rest as 0 so write down this for 1 and rest multiplied by 0 so this one that is a bar a bar b bar c bar multiplied by 0 and this one is a bar b bar c this multiplied by 0 this one a bar b and c bar this multiplied by 1 so write down here so this i0 i1 i2 i3 and this is 0 0 1 0 and so on and this three selector a b c with a 0 s1 s2 okay so finally you will obtain this expression now the next part of this question how you can use a is to one multiplexer to implement a logical expression with four inputs you can see there is three inputs you can use a is to one multiplexer but when the four inputs then 2 to the power 4 you need to 16 you need to 2 to the power 4 means 16 but 8 is to 1 so how you can use these 4 inputs actually this can be used uh, uh, 3 input as a selector and the fourth as a input variable how you can see I, I take an example that is the this function is 1 at that position so this position 0 3 4 5 this position as a 1 another is 0 and the fourth element you can you know 
that is uh, 0 is d, d bar that is d0 1 is d1 and so on so this is d bar and this is d so in this combination this is d bar in this combination this is d this to 1 that is 1 this is d this is d bar this is d this is d bar this both are 0 so this d is uh, here i1 i3 i5 i1 i3 i5 and uh, d uh, and d is uh, d and d bar d bar you can see i0 i4 i6 i0 i4 i6 and this i2 is 1 and i7 is 0 so this is d and this is ab3 and this is the enable and because this is r cell so this on the on the enable n is the enable inputs okay when this is zero that means this is one so all the inputs are enabled so using a to one multiplexer you can implement the four inputs logic expression also next things write down the basic difference between decoder and demultiplexer demultiplexer is nothing but the reverse of the multiplexer what is multiplexer when the many inputs and one output in demultiplexer one input and many output this input will be outputted from any one of this output which is selected by selector but in case of decoder this binary number change into the analog number how this 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 0 1 0 is 2 1 1 is 3 like that so these four output written here 0 1 2 3 and depending upon these two inputs this led light are uh, emitted and you just change into digital to analog so this is decoder and this is demultiplexer so clearly you can see there are no selector in case of decoder there is binary converted into analog but here the demultiplexer inputs are ejected from any one of these outputs so that you, you as a uh, you, you can select just male female so this inputs is male then output is from one female then output is from another one then this is select by selector so there is a present of selector but there is no present in selector and this is converted digital to analog this is not converted just transfer the input uh, into any one of this output. so i think clear about the decoder and demultiplexer so this is all about uh, up to that one in the next class we will be discuss about the next two questions okay this is all about me this is my contact detail you can connect me with this telegram channel and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will be get the five related videos on mathematics like this session if you learn something from this session share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you need this channel those are already subscribed Thanks for subscription. Please the bell icon to get notification of our new So take care. We'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.